Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey guys. That's Dustin. What's up? I'm the bourbon guy. Dustin. I'm, I'm Keith. I'm kind of a music guy. Kind of. Yeah. You're pretty good at the music stuff. I have my moments. Well, we have you. <laughs> All right. I'm saying that. Um, yeah, so what we got here, man? Bourbon bribe. I like bribes. Yeah. They're kind of nice. So, this one is from Michelle. Um, and she sent us Crater Lake Rye Rock and Rye. Okay. A classic drink with rye. Wait. What? Nope. I'm not going to read any of that yet. You're going to be. What's our proof level? Do you see this face? What's our proof level? Do you see this face? What is our proof level? <clears throat> 60. Okay, so this is going to be basically a liquor. It's going to be infused with something. So it says, ready to drink, just pour over ice. Want to go get some ice? Nah. We, we try everything neat. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, the song that came with this request is Way Jennings' Lead Me Home. So, we've done a Way Jennings before. Um, it was actually another one of Michelle's requests. Um, it, we liked it pretty well. Yeah. It's pretty good. Song. It was about the gun. It's about the gun. Yeah. Which was Fitting. coincidental for our activities that particular day. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, let's, let's check it out. Right now at this moment, if all of y'all, I want y'all to put y'all hands together for one of the true remaining outlaws that we have that will stand up for us. And that is Mr. Wayne Jennings! Mike. Lord Almighty, won't you open those gates? Bring me home to get out of this place. Because I've been walking lonely. For just a little while And everyone I love's within the clouds Well, that's pretty heavy lyric. But I was pausing to uh, comment. I don't know if that's people harmonizing with him or if it's effects. I can't really tell. Mm. So it, it may be some people harmonizing with him that have similar voices it could be effects or it could be recording uh michael mcdonald from the doobies actually perfected that where he would sing three different times the same lyric to harmonize at three different pitches and harmonize with himself gotcha and that kind of mix them yeah and it, it well so it almost sounds like that's what's going on here a little bit um, I'm liking it though. It's really working. Whatever's happening yeah, he, there. He sounds good. Yeah. For just a little while, and everyone I love's within the clouds. I want to say it's harmonizing. Help me out. I know it ain't Sunday, but someday I will find my. Home. Come Monday. I'm laughing so hard because you did exactly what I did. I didn't even notice. I went. <laughs> yeah, that's going to take a little extra. All right, we need to pay attention to the song, man. But someday I will find my way home. I'm liking his vocals better in this one. Come Monday. Definitely. I will know which direction I may roam. Then it's etched in stone. Just lead me home. He sounds really good. As a little baby, my mama, she cradled me. Tried to keep me from the world But I grew up Yeah, I grew up And I hope I grew up enough Lead me home Help me upon my way 
until that day just leave me home If you can hear me Can you hear what I gotta say? Cause I ain't seeing clearly And I may fall upon my face Man, I'm getting a little chills. I didn't expect that. But until that, that day Just lead me home Lead me home Help me upon my way It almost sounds gospel. It's got that I know you're lean to it. Yeah. Well, maybe that's who he's singing to. And I need a way to make my way so lead me home Lead me, lead me, lead Just lead I think I'm hearing a female voice. Me home. That's, yeah, that's where I picked that up. After you talked about it, I listened a little closer, and I heard a female. Yeah. And another guy that sounded a little different. Yeah. Harmonizing with him. So I, I gotta tell you, um, after hearing the gun, mm-hmm. I did not expect that. His pipes, his pipes, and we talk about all the time the ability to make you feel something. Mm-hmm. This the previous song did not do that. There were no yeah. There was little phrasing. It made us think. Right. Didn't make us feel. Right. This one made me feel something. Yeah. Um. I'm kind of, actually, my wife has educated me, right? So it's like, what genre do you drop this into? And I'm not sure this is a country song. And it has kind of, there are a lot of bluegrass songs that kind of have this, you know, light on the instrumentation, heavy on the vocals. Um, Apparently, uh she has researched this and finds that a lot of places um, there's this genre called Americana. Mm-hmm. And folks like Billy Strings and Molly Tuttle get dropped into that genre. Genre. And this kind of has that feel to it, that right? Same kind of feel. A little bit. Even uh, Jason Isbell. Yeah, Jason Isbell, I guess, falls into that Americana. And I think. Is that a genre of country? We do, I don't. Is yeah. Is that a subset of country? Let us know. We don't yeah, know. Tell us. I mean, is this is it a subset of bluegrass, which is a subset of country? Or I mean, right? How's that all work? Or do we even care? <laughs> Good question. Right? Do you guys care? So something's bugging me. What's bugging me? I liked his voice a lot. Yeah. I liked the message of the song. I did too. It felt like something was missing. Maybe you were expecting to hear a banjo and a mandolin back there behind him? No. It, I, I guess to me, the, the lyrics didn't seem to flow like I would expect them to. Some of them were kind of halting. Um, did, if, lack of flow, I think, is a little bit accurate for parts of the song, but not all of it. it right. The chorus in, in, was like yeah. it flowed well, but there were certain in the verses. There were certain songwriters have a lot of trouble with getting the right number of syllables to. That's both. an art. Yeah, it is. You remember Bob? Bob. We used to work with him. Yeah, I remember Bob. Do you know he wrote songs? I did not know that. He was a songwriter. He actually, allegedly, he wrote a few hits. I had no idea. Right, and he's. I talked to him a little bit about it. 
There's a science to to getting the right choosing the right word that gives you the right syllables and doesn't fuck up the meaning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he was, and he he talked about it a little bit. So I just wonder if maybe that's missing here a little bit. Could be. I think I forgive it. Yeah, it's still a good song. Cause I really enjoyed the song. Mm-hmm. This this could go easily into my bluegrass playlist that happens when I cross the Ohio River heading east. I can see that. Yeah, and you're just well. I, I mean, could, I'd be headed home, man. I will see this. <laughs> this to me. So oh, you're different than me by a lot. <laughs> a lot. I could see this leading you toward the mountains. This still feels a little flatlandy to me. It would lead me to the mountains, yeah. Right. But you're a flatlander. Uh, what a dick. So, I like this more than I thought I would. I'm kind of shocked. The nose is deceiving. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what in the hell is in that glass? And I, I have the perfect explanation for what this is. Need more lemon pledge. <laughs> it smells like lemon pledge. <laughs> He's actually not wrong. It smells like orange pledge. Orange pledge, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is basically an orange liqueur. No. No. This is the best. This is the best ready to drink old fashioned I've ever had. Is that what it's supposed to be? So it is. Holy crap! It is. Yeah. It's an old fashioned in a bottle. It's a ready to drink old fashioned. I'll be damned. A classic drink. With rye whiskey, okay, dark cherry, okay, blood orange, and house made bitters. It's, it's an old fashioned in a bottle. Exactly. That's why they say put some ice over it. Exactly. It'd, it'd open all that up, dude. I kind of want to go do it. All right, go go get a spice. You want me to just bring it in here in my hands? No, that's <laughs> gross. You've been shooting guns. I have washed my hands since then. Yeah, but what else have you done since then? You don't want to know. Exactly. <laughs> Just get like another glass with some ice in it. <laughs> You're good to see this. We don't edit. Just so you all know. But So I will say, I started to read the label at the beginning of the video. And I saw a classic drink with rye whiskey, dark cherry, and I stopped. I was like, uh-oh, this is going to color my reaction to the song if i keep reading this you know like you see those videos where they give you the preview and they show too much you know what i'm talking about yeah and they ruin I the hate song the, or they ruin a, uh, a movie with too many previews they show you all the good stuff in the previews sometimes right um so i stopped reading it when i got to the dark cherry i was just like i'm not gonna read anymore right and then i took a smell and i was like I don't know about this. Orange Pledge. <laughs> and I set it back down. And I waited for him to take a drink to see what would happen. And he didn't make a bad face. And then I took a drink. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. That's good. That is a good ready-to-drink old-fashioned. That is delicious. <laughs> this... This is a non-bourbon. It's not a bourbon. Recommendation. I, I absolutely... This is as good as like $20 old fashions I've had in bars. Yes. You're not shitting. No, I'm not. I'm, I mean that. And we have no idea how much he paid for this, but that is accurate. You know what, man? I'm going to keep a bottle of this. I'm going to find it. I'm going to keep a bottle of this in my cabinet. Even if you steal that one, I'm going to keep a bottle. And I'm going to be like, hey, man, you want an old-fashioned? I'm just going to pour that shit over some ice. No oh, shit, man. <laughs> yes. And it's 60 proof. It's actually, for an old-fashioned, that's kind of that's the perfect hot. proof. It's a little hot for an old-fashioned. Yeah, because they usually water it down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Dude. Michelle, great choice. Uh, really unexpected for us. I wonder if she expected that. Because she said her husband helped her pick these out. Her and her husband both did it, right? Yeah, they, yeah she did say that. So, I kind of wonder. Maybe, maybe she, one of them knew. Either either that or they tried to throw a curveball at us. Oh, it was a curveball. <laughs> there is no question that was a curveball. Yeah. But it was a... You should pour more in your glass. <laughs> and get Joanna to try it. 
Uh, she's she's she's, she's out. Is man. she out? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, so, we missed that opportunity. Next I time. I bet she'd like it though. Dude, we might experiment with that tomorrow. I mean, it's got orange in it. It could go with breakfast. Wow. <laughs> what? The hair of the dog. Nah. Nah. No. Nah. No. Not so much. Nah, I don't drink in the mornings, man. No way. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. <laughs> Been some lessons learned along the way. So he's a good boy now. <laughs> you said that out loud. Um, so it's on video proof. Yeah. Um, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Yep. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Um, what's join the Cool Kids Club? What's important to us? Drop down in the comments. Uh, tell us what songs we need to listen to. Tell us what bourbons or whiskeys we need to drink. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. If, if you want to propel your song to the front, you can be like Michelle. And send us an old-fashioned. <laughs> send us an old-fashioned in a bottle. That's what that I was. we'll try. I swear to God, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, till next time, guys.